Ten four. Ten four. Okay. All right. Sam, turn around. Turn around for me. Alright, sir, just go ahead and seat in the room and Texas will be out here in a second, okay? We'll go ahead and seat now. Yeah, you need to use restroom? Mm -hmm. Come on, we need a chair anyway. So. Yeah, I'll get around right the chair. Just, just pull your hands out for me, okay? There you go. Thanks, buddy. Come on. I'll grab a chair. <laughs> Detective Teresa Sprague. I hope you watch. He washed his hands too. What's your name, sir? Jaquan. Jaquan? Mm -hmm. I'm Brian Ferreira. <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting. You okay? J A J A eight seven Q U O N. What's your middle name, Jaquan? D. What's your last name? Glover. G L O B E R. Yeah. Okay, what's your date of birth? Zero four nineteen two thousand. Phone number? Three two one nine one four eight six seven two. Where's your phone right now? Yes. Uh. uh the other guy, his sister got it. Okay. What's the address for you? What's good address for you? Uh, 4653 Carter Street. Whose address is that? Uh -huh. Mom? Mm -hmm. What's mom's name? Avis. Good. A V I S? Yeah. Lover? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is Detective Brian Ferrer of the Orlando Police Department. Today's date is Thursday, June 7th, 2018. The time is now approximately 0840 hours. This is an interview taking place at Orlando Police Headquarters in CID interview room number four. Also present is Detective Teresa Sprague of the Orlando Police Department and Jaquan Glover. Uh, Mr. Glover, if you could just say your name and give me your date of birth, please. Jaquan Glover, 0419, 2000. Awesome. Thank you very much, sir. Um, Mr. Glover, can you raise your right hand for me, please? Do you solemnly swear or affirm that the testimony you shall give in this case shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes. Okay. Okay, so um, we're trying to figure out what your involvement is in all this, okay? But for us to talk to you, I want to go over these with you, all right? Mm -hmm. um, they're for your protection. It doesn't mean anything one way or another, all right, as far as going to jail or not going to jail or anything like that, okay? Mm -hmm. Yes? Yeah. Okay. You have the right to remain silent. Do you understand? Okay, see, yes. here's the problem. I don't want to miscon 
confuse head, sh head shakes because sometimes a yes can look like a no and vice versa. So I really need to make sure you understand these, okay? Okay. So yeses or noes, all right? If you don't, it's no big deal. You ask me and I'll explain it to you. Okay. Okay? Yeah. All right. No pressure. All right? So that's a yes on the first one? So yeah. you understand? Yes. Okay. Anything you say may be used against you in court. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. You have the right to talk to a lawyer before and during questioning. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. You cannot afford a lawyer and want one. One will be provided for you before questioning without charge. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. Has anyone threatened you or promised you anything to get you to talk to me? Huh? Has anyone threatened you or promised you anything to get you to talk to me? No. No. You gotta think about that for a second. Did anybody that transported you ever tell you if you told us anything that you would be let go or anything like that? Did they what? Did anybody tell you that if you told us specific things you would be let go, you wouldn't be in any trouble, or did anybody promise you? No. No? Anybody threaten you and say if you didn't talk you were gonna get beat up or anything like that? You said an uh, officer? Yeah, anybody. No. No. Okay. Alright, so with all that being said, we, we want to talk to you about what happened tonight, okay? Or last night. All right. So, how did you wind up here? How did I what? How did you wind up here? Tell me what happened. Uh, you want to hear the story? Mm -hmm. What happened? Please. The guy he, the guy that was driving, he 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 was taking us home. Me and uh, my friend, he was taking us home from a hotel. Mm -hmm. And he had his friend in the car, I guess, or mm -hmm. somebody. And I guess he was already mad because they were arguing. Mm -hmm. So he was driving like reckless. Mm -hmm. So we we telling him like calm down. Mm -hmm. And he getting mad at us and start arguing with us and going back and forth with us. Mm -hmm. And he stopped at a red light and we was telling him like go like take us. Mm -hmm. And he was saying no, he was sitting here all night. Mm -hmm. So we said just turn around, take him back to the hotel. Mm -hmm. He turned around, but he didn't take us back. Okay. What happened then? He was saying that he'll stop the car and beat our ass. He said. Okay. Why would he say that? Uh, I guess he was mad. About what? About us, like, arguing with him and stuff. Okay. Let's go back a little bit, okay? And then we'll, we'll move forward. What does everybody call you? They call me Papa. Papa? Yeah. Well, not, not everybody. Some okay. people call me Papa, Corn. Who calls you Papa? Like, my household. And like people that are really close with you? Yeah. Family? Mm hmm Okay. Who's your friend? You said the guy I was driving was taking me and my friend home. Who's your friend? The other guy. What's his name? I call him Jay. You call him Jay? Yeah. Who's Jay? Jay's the one who's driving, or Jay's your friend that you're taking home? The friend that was with me taking home. You call him Jay? Yeah. How often do you call him Jay? Like, that's what I call him. What's his family call him? Woody. There you go. Okay. The guy that was driving, what's his name? I don't know him. You don't know him? Mm -hmm. When was the first time you ever saw him? Last night. Last night? Yeah. Okay. Where did you see him first? At the hotel. Okay. That's what hotel? I'm not sure of the name of it, but it's over there by uh, the Magic Mall. Whose room is it? It was me and my friend's room. You and your friend who? Really? Okay. But yeah, we, it wasn't in our name, but. Okay. What time, what time is that at that you saw him at the hotel room? I'm not sure, it was night time. Night time? Where'd you guys go? Did you go anywhere? We were dropping us off. Where at? To uh, my friend's house. Okay, if we're going to keep talking about your friend, if his name is Willie, let's keep calling him Willie, okay? Because mm -hmm. I don't want to interpret that as somebody else. Okay. okay so y y he took you to Willie's house? No, we didn't make it there. Where'd you go? 
I, I told you what happened. At the light, we had to stop, and he turned around. Oh, okay. What about earlier in the day? I was I was at uh, Willie's house, mm -hmm. just sitting over there chilling. And then where? Then the hotel. Mm -hmm. And then where? Then that happened. That's it. You leaving some stuff out? Yeah. Mr. Glover, listen to me, okay? You're a young man. Mm -hmm. You're 18 years old, right? Yes. You have your whole life ahead of you. Yes? Yes. Okay. Have you ever been arrested before? No. Okay, so this is all new for you. Yeah. So you have to weigh very heavily the decision you're going to make right now because it's going to affect the rest of your life. Do you understand that? Yes. Okay. The rest of your life. So start thinking, okay? Because when you leave stuff out, you know what that's called? That's yeah. called a lie of omission. Okay? And lying to me is not a good thing. Do we understand each other? Yes. Where did you go today? Don't leave anything out. Try it again. I don't go anywhere today. Uh, you, do you think I'm worried about some credit card fraud stuff? Do you think I'm worried you about? Do you think I'm worried about today credit card meaning fraud? Thursday? He's playing some Wednesday. Do you think I'm worried about credit card fraud? I don't do that. Or oh. theft? You were with somebody who did it. Okay. We know about all that. So, so just let's talk. let's t let's talk. Okay. The stuff you guys took. If you're gonna not talk, then we're gonna have to go on what everybody else told us. And guess what? Your friend, the one that you didn't want to tell us his name, threw you under the bus left, right, and center. Yeah. He what? Oh yeah. You know what throwing under the bus means? No. He he's putting all this in your court, saying that you're the one that's responsible for all this. You understand that? You understand? Responsible for what? Are you, so you're gonna. This is the way you're gonna go. You were there. You know what happened. I know what happened. He said you're responsible for it. Do you understand that? Yeah. So the one that you're you're hanging tough for, the one that you're covering for right now, is telling on you. So that's fine. If you want to play the game, I don't care. One way or another, somebody's going to be responsible. So if you want to be the one that's responsible, that's fine. What I said isn't a lie, though. No, there's a lot more, isn't there? Isn't there? Yeah, it's more. Yeah. Okay. So it's not really. So start thinking. Who do you care about in your life? Who's important to you? Me. You. Nobody else in the world that you care about? My family. Okay. Do you want to look at your family through a piece of glass because you lied and took responsibility for somebody? Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. So you have a big decision to make, yeah? Yeah. Are we on the same page? Yeah. Okay. Where'd look, you go? It happened. There's nothing you can do to change it, but lying about it isn't going to make it any better. All right? Did you go to the mall yesterday? Yeah. What mall? Uh, the, the outlet. Which um, one? I think Prime. Okay. Did you go to a few different places yesterday? No. Just Prime? Who went? It was me, that guy. What guy? Our, I don't know. What did, what did everybody call him while you were there? I'm sure they referred to him or something. Lamar. Okay. Or something. Okay, Lamar. I don't know if that's his name. That's okay, know. but that's what everybody called him? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. And who else? You, Lamar, and who? And Willie. And Willie. That was it, though. Okay. You guys went down to the mall and you bought some stuff. We'll leave it at that. I'm not even worried about it, okay? How's that? You hear what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. So when you go from the mall, where do you go after that? To the hotel. Whose car were you going to the mall? That guy. Well, let's keep calling him by the name. Lamar. Lamar. Okay. When you went to the mall that day, who had a gun? Nobody. How do you know? I was in the car. Okay. Did you? No. Okay. So you go from the mall to where? To the hotel. This hotel that you have, it's not in your name, but you're staying over there? Yeah. And, and did you tell me where it is? I'm not sure if you told me where it is yet. Uh, by the Magic Mall. I think it's Best Western. By the Magic Mall? Yeah. Okay. So you go, you go to the hotel. 
Who goes in the hotel room? Me. All three of us. Okay. You guys had a lot of stuff? Yeah. Okay. And what happens, so, do you all stay in the hotel room? Does somebody leave at some point in time? Tell me what happens. Well, today is Thursday, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were supposed to leave tomorrow. No, 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 I'm talking about yesterday. You all go back to the hotel room. You carry your bags up to the hotel room, right? What floor is it on? The second, second floor. floor. Two floors. Okay, so second floor. The guy, Lamar, he left. Lamar left? Yeah. Okay. He said he had to go pick up uh, the other guy he was with. Okay. And then what? Guy. Then that's when everything happened. He came, we came, we told him to come drop us off. And he came. That's what happened. Did you go to Will's house at some, Willie's house at some point in time? I went before, that was before we went to the mall. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, why did you get back in the car with, with Lamar when all this happened? What happened? What, what brought you back into that car? Before it happened? Mm -hmm. Right before it happened. You know, you told me you were driving around and you were at the traffic light and everything else. Why were you guys in the car? We wanted to get dropped off. Where? To Willie's house. You going to tell me what happened with the hotel room? Oh, ain't nothing happened. Oh, mm -hmm. Try again. We, we came back and the, the hotel door was unlocked. Why would you tell me that? I wasn't, like, my head right now, like, I can't explain, but. Well, you know it's Thursday, right? Yeah. You know you're at the police station, right? You know your date of birth, right? You told me your date of birth. You know your address. You know your mom's name. So your head's okay. Yeah, but. Okay. I'm so let me ask you a question. Why wouldn't you tell me that the door was open to the hotel room? What are you so worried about? I wasn't thinking about that. Well, listen, how many times do I got to tell you? You need to think about these things. You hear? Yeah. Because it looks like you're not telling me. What does that look like? I forgot what you called it. Lying. It's a very flat out lying. Do we want to lie? Mm. We're going to talk about that too. Okay. So help me understand a little bit more what's going on here. So you go back to the room, the door's open. Then what? We were just curious why it was open and stuff, trying to find out. That's the reason we left, because when we came back, the door was open. We didn't want to stay there. So you're curious as to what in the room? Like, what happened? What happened? Somebody came in. And did what? The stuff, everything was like on the floor and stuff. What was on the floor? The clothes. Okay. Was anything taken? Yeah. What was taken? It was a few shirts and stuff. A few? What do you think is a few? Like, like four shirts. Mm -hmm. Four shirts? Maybe more, I don't know. Is it possible there's more? Yeah. A lot more? Mm -hmm. uh, what kind of shirts were they? Like heel fit and stuff. No? So, <sighs> what time is that at about on Wednesday afternoon that you realize that the door was open and stuff was taken? I could say 9. At night? Like 9, 10. At night? Yeah. Dark out? Yeah. Okay. What'd you guys do then? Th and it's just you and Willie at that point in time? Yeah. Or is there anybody else with you when you realize that this is going on in the room? It was just me and Willie. Okay. But we left after that. Well, you didn't just leave, did you? I mean, there's a little bit more to that, isn't there? What did you think happened in that room? Somebody came in and took something. Who did you think did it? I don't know. Mm, yeah, you do. I don't know. No, you told uh, plenty of people who you thought did it. So who did you think did it? Who I told thought did it. Hmm? Who I told I don't know. You tell me. Don't, don't, don't understand. We've talked to plenty of people about this, all right? Yeah. So I need to hear it from you. Who did you think did this? 
I don't know who did it. You had an idea? So who was your, your idea? Who did you speculate did it? It really wasn't nobody at the hotel mm -hmm. but me, really, and that guy. Named? Lamar. Lamar. So who did you think did this, Willie? Mm -hmm. So who did you think did it? Probably wasn't Lamar. No. Mm -hmm. How'd that make you feel? I don't really feel. Were you mad? Mm -hmm. You weren't mad at all. Hmm. Well, I'm trying to understand why somebody who wasn't mad would be yelling in a car. Hmm? Why somebody who wasn't mad would be yelling inside a car. Why? If you I were mean, mad. After it happened, that's when Lamar came back mm -hmm. and took us to drop us off. Mm -hmm. And he he was mad. He was mad. What was he mad about? I don't know. You don't know? No. How do you know he was mad? Because the way he was talking, he was talking aggressively. And what was the way he, he was driving. Well, what was he saying? Aggressively. Hmm? What was he saying? Aggressively. He was talking to his friend at first, arguing with him. Mm -hmm. They were sitting in the front. And me and Woody in the back. Where were you sitting? On the right. The right back. Behind the passenger? Yeah. You sure? Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah. Okay. Where was Willie really sitting? Next to me. Okay. Who was driving? The guy. Which guy? Lamar. Lamar. <laughs> so, he's yelling or speaking aggressively, but you don't know what he's saying. That's what you're telling me. Oh, I'm not saying that. Okay. So, what was he saying? He was saying, he was arguing with his friend. Then I said something. What did you say? I was saying, calm down, slow down, like, because the way he was driving, he got ready with me. I said, just take us back to the hotel. He turned around, then he started talking again. Then he messed around and said, shut up before I pull over and beat y'all ass right now, or mm -hmm. something like that. Or something like that? Yeah. It was something like that. Okay. Like he gonna beat our ass. You accused him of stealing the stuff is basically what pissed him off. Yeah. Yeah. Why is that, again, why is that so hard to tell me? I don't know. He was already mad, though. Okay. But the main fight, the main argument was because you guys accused him of stealing your stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Because it was only three three of us in the hotel, so it couldn't have been no, nobody else. It was two cars. I, I, we came in the room. Mm -hmm. There's three of us in there. I know Willie not going to take it. Mm -hmm. So it's three of us in there. I, Willie got a car, he threw the card on the bed. I grabbed the other card out the dresser. You're saying card, you mean the room keys? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I grabbed one out the dresser, and this one here on, on the bed. I grabbed both of them, mm -hmm. and I threw them in the dresser and closed them. Mm -hmm. So Willie goes in the bathroom, I turn my head for a minute, and I come back. I, I get the key because we're about to leave mm -hmm. and go. Mm -hmm. But there's only one key in the dresser now, like, where is it? Who got it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, the argument's pretty good in the car, to the point where he threatens to beat your asses. Yeah. Cause you're, cause you're accusing him of stealing the stuff that he said he didn't steal. Yeah. So he pulls the car over. Mm -hmm. He being Lamar. Yes. And then what happened? He gets out. Mm -hmm. And he he's fighting Willie, but when he jumped on Willie, I got in the car and tried to jump on him. But the other guy, he jumped on me. Okay. And we was fighting. No more. That's when the shot went off. You shot him? No. You sure? Yeah, I'm positive. Who shot him? I wasn't looking. No, you weren't, huh? Mm. No. No. You were right there, and you weren't looking. So, again... No, that kind of that kind of that kind of answer is something that makes people say, "Well, I wonder what he did." You were right there. You were watching your buddy. He's fighting this guy. What were you doing? I wasn't watching. Him. What were you doing? I just told you, I, the guy, my, Willie, was fighting the guy Lamar. Mm -hmm. 
I get out, I try to help Willie at least get get Lamar off of him. Mm-hmm. What you were able to do? Huh? What you were able to do? No. Yes. I didn't. How's that? I only swung one time when the guy came and snapped me. What guy? That's how I got this. That's how you hurt your head? Yeah. Doing what? I got slammed. Onto the pavement? Yeah. Or where's that from? Let me see. In my elbow hurt too. I ain't getting to look at that. But. Hmm. That looks like somebody that kind of was on the ground, like pushed the ground or something. Yeah, I got slammed. And slammed, huh? Why do you think he slammed you? Because I was uh, trying to help. Okay, walk me through that a little bit more. Help me understand that. So, help me understand. So, so, what were you looking at when the gun went off? I was. I wasn't looking at them. Okay, that's not what I asked you though. I asked you what you were looking at. What were you looking at? I don't remember at the time. You don't remember? Mm-mm. Really? I'm so serious. Hmm. So you just don't remember what you were looking at. Well, your brother, basically. See, see, that doesn't help. See, and this is where I get lost again. I'm sorry, but you know what? If this is my my, he's your brother. Let's be real. Let's be real, right? Because you only said you said only family calls you Papa, and he calls you Papa. He called you Papa every time we talked about you. Yeah. So he's pretty tight with you, yeah. Okay. And see, I know how it works. All right. And. When my buddy is right and he's done the right thing, I'm gonna say, yeah, I saw him. I saw what he did. Mm-hmm. He shot him because you know why? Because he was attacking him. He was choking him. Whatever it was. You know what you said? I don't know. I didn't see it. What were you looking at? What was so important at that point in time that you had to be looking at that you didn't see what he did? And you know what you said? You said, I don't know. I don't know. I wasn't watching. If I was, I would have told you. Okay, that's fine. So you can't testify that he was acting in self-defense. As long as we understand each other on that, you cannot testify to that. You understand that, right? Yeah. And you're you're in no danger at that point in time, are you? You shaking your head now? No. I mean, I, I was because I was fighting, but... Well, what were you fighting? Because you said you only threw one punch. What were you fighting? The, I threw... I ran up, threw a punch, and got slammed. Why did you run up and throw a punch? It happened so quick. Why did I run, run up and throw a punch? He was on Willie. He was on Willie? Yeah. Doing what? He was fighting. Mm-hmm. Okay, fighting. I got that. There's a lot of different ways you could fight. What was he doing to Willie? He was on him, you said. How did that work? Like, he ran up on him. He, he, Willie was on the floor. He was on top of Willie. Mm-hmm. What was he doing when he was on top of Willie? He was fighting. I got that part. What was he doing to him? I just seen movement, and I blacked out trying to come hit him. You blacked out? Yeah. Mm. Okay. I got some out. So after the first shot, what happened then? I jumped in the car. Mm-hmm. How many shots did you see? I heard two. You heard two? Second shot? I heard two shots. Mm-hmm. What happened on the second shot? Where'd the second shot come from? I don't know. You don't know? The same gun, I know that. How do you know that? It had to. Why? It had to. Who had the gun? You did? No. I'm saying no. You don't know what happened, but you can say for sure it was that gun, and you can say for sure you didn't have the gun. Am I understanding that right? So you blacked out in parts of this? No. I'm, I'm telling you what happened. Well, you're telling us what you want to tell us. No. I'm trying to help you. <laughs> no, you're not. You're trying to help you. And you're trying to help Willie. Why did Willie shoot this guy? Lamar? Willie didn't tell me why. He didn't tell you why? He huh? said... What did he say? I don't want to. I can't hear you. What's that? Willie didn't want to. He didn't want to. So why did he? I guess he felt that if it if it wasn't him, I mean, it 
was either him or him at the time. Like, it was like me or you. Why? Because like they was fighting. I saw him. He's not that beat up. Hmm? He's not that beat up. You have more injuries than he does. Hmm? Slammed. Okay, but you didn't pull a gun and shoot after him. Shoot him after you got slammed, did you? Yeah. Where'd that gun come from? It was found under the seat in the car. How much time did you guys have together after the shooting? After the shooting? Mm -hmm. I could say 15, 20 minutes. That's a lot of time. Yeah. To talk about. What happened? Mm. No. No, because I know I wouldn't talk about that either, right? I mean, somebody just shot somebody. I wouldn't talk about that. I don't know what you would do. You want people to believe that? Um. You want people to believe that for 15 or 20 minutes, because you guys made enough efforts to go and do what? What'd you do with the car? Isn't it late? Yeah. Yeah. So, but so let me, hold on. Let me make sure I understand you right. So you guys didn't talk about what just happened. You took somebody's car that didn't belong to you. You didn't talk about what happened, and you just happened to just bring it to a lake and push it in the lake. Am I right? You said you didn't talk about what happened twice. You, you, yeah, you didn't? What you? Can you say that again? Okay. Shooting happens. You guys go both get in a car that doesn't belong to you. Mm -hmm. And you make every effort to go and get rid of this car. So I guess what I'm wondering is, when was the last time you were involved in a shooting and drove a car over to a lake and pushed a car to a lake? When was the last time that happened to you before this one? It never. Never. So this is the first time that happened. Yeah. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, you just decided to take this car and put it in a lake. Because? I didn't know the car was going in the lake. You didn't know. At what point did you figure out it was going in the lake? When you got there? When I saw it going in the lake. Mm-hmm. Well, apparently, your testimony is atrocious. You don't have a very good memory, and that's fine. So the carjacking and everything else, you could be just as involved, and that's not, that's fine for us. That is not a problem. And you know what happens now? Because you have no memory of what happened, and you can't tell me anything that happened, and you can't be honest with me, that's fine. You're yes. going to be charged with murder. I hope you understand that. That's oh. everything. I'm no, it's not. No, 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 no. Stop. Not even close. Stop. Okay, stop for three seconds because you're throwing. Okay. No, you're gonna listen now. You're throwing your life away, and that's fine. Throw it away. That's fine. I have no problem. Okay, one half of David for two people is fine with me. I'm telling you. No, that. you're not. Stop. You're up to your eyeballs in a homicide. I hope you understand that. But I'm telling no, you. No, there's no self-defense. That self-defense claim is gone. Okay, what you two did was a carjacking. I understand that. I have an eyewitness. So what you two did is a carjacking. Oh, by the way, there's video. Yeah, there's video. Yeah. So do you want to say what you said? That's fine. We'll go with that. Say when, when you tried to defend yourself and say, I didn't do this or I didn't do that, you blacked out. You can't remember what you did. So you can't tell me what you did. So that's fine. I told you. No, you didn't. Stop. This is crazy. It's not crazy. This is reality. This is reality. Okay. Do you want to try again? Do you want to try again and fill in the blanks? Because you're really not doing a good job right now telling the truth. Okay. Do you want to try again? Yeah. If you didn't shoot somebody, you're not somebody that I would need to put in jail. We can't do fingerprint or something. Like, no. no. We, we can call, tell the truth. We can do truth. Tell the truth. I mean, I said... I no, stop. Me. Listen to me. Stop. Christ, I'm trying to... I'm, do you understand what we're doing here? Yeah. We need to get the truth. Okay? I don't want you to lie. I don't want you to make anything up. I don't want you to tell me anything I don't I, you think I want to hear. Understand that, okay? This room right now, this is it. If I get up and walk out and she gets up and walks out, we're done. And I'm going to go with, you know what I'm going to go with? Mr. Glover could not remember anything. He blacked out. He blacked out. So whatever everybody else said you did, you did. You understand that? I do not. Yeah. So whatever everybody else is saying, I got and nobody's lying to me. Okay? Yeah. You're the one that's got amnesia about certain things. Yeah, you made some bad decisions tonight, didn't you? Last night. Okay, let's let's get that straight. You made some bad decisions last night, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. Again, how many times do I have to make it clear to you? I can give a rat's ass about credit card fraud crap that you guys did at a mall. 
That's a dime a dozen. I don't care. It's not something I need to send you to jail for. Do you understand that? Yeah. Are we on the same page on that? Yeah. Okay? But to tell me that you guys didn't talk for 15 or 20 minutes, you had no conversations whatsoever about what just happened, and a car just winds up in a lake that you're driving in or you're with, and you're going to tell me you didn't talk about anything, let's not go there. Okay? Because that's an insult. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to start again? Yes. All right. Go ahead. Coming from the hotel was broken into. Mm -hmm. We noticed everything. Some things was missing. Okay. So we called Lamar and tell him to come back and get us. He comes back and he's taking us and he's arguing with us. Did you guys call Lamar so you can question him about the, the stuff? Yeah. Well, we were, we were already questioning him over the phone. Okay. What's what was the plan to get Lamar there? What why? Why did you want to have Lamar there? Why was it so important? Because you can talk to him over the phone, can't you? Yeah. So what was so important about getting him there we and getting in that car? Tell me. To leave. Try again. What was so important about getting him there? And whose idea was it? Because if it wasn't your idea, I need to know that. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, it wasn't my idea. So whose idea was it? It was idea. What was his idea? Tell me. To get Lamar there. And Why? Go. And what? And go. And do what? To get in there and what? Not to go home. Not to go home. First he wanted to question him. Yeah, and then what? Then he was just saying, drop me off. Uh-huh. Listen, remember, remember, I can't keep asking you, okay? It was Willie's idea, that's fine, but I need to hear it from you. Okay. What was his idea? His idea was to question Lamar to see if, like, he would tell the truth or not. Because we, we know, like... What was going to make him tell the truth? Tell him. I, I knew he wasn't going to tell the truth. What was going to make him tell the truth? Why did you have to have him there? What's the point? I know. I gotta hear it from you. Because when you when you don't tell us, it looks like you're covering it up. If you didn't put that plan in action, it wasn't your idea. You just went along. I need to know that. But I need to know everything. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So what was the plan? What was the idea? It was to get Lamar there. Uh huh. To see see what he says. Uh huh. And then there's but there's more, isn't there? Yeah. Yeah. This mm -hmm. is the hard part. This is the hard part. What were you gonna do? Was the plan to kill him? Was that the plan all along? Yes. Mm. Yes, but. We we wanted what he took back. Okay. So was the plan to kill him or get the stuff back? Which was it? Um, Tell me about it. We we wanted to see what what he was gonna say. Okay. What that what he wanted to see. Okay. I ain't want Lamar to come back to be honest. But, but tell me what happened. So tell me what the plan was. And when he came back, what was gonna happen? What was the plan? Willie was saying that. He's just gonna have him drop us off. And when we get in the wedding house, whatever happened, happened. No. No. It doesn't work. No, 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 no. I'm no. saying, like, with. No, with no, no, no. You said the plan was to get your stuff back. Yeah. Right? To try it. Right, tell me about that. No, no. You're not gonna just ask him for your stuff back nicely. Where did, where did the gun come from? Let's talk about that. Let's start there. Where did the gun come from? In that car. No, no, no. Don't tell me in that car. Mm -mm. No. Come on, try again. Where did the gun come from? It came from... This is where you have to put it out, okay? You don't want him to tell us that he that you gave it to him, do you? I Did you give it to him? No. Where did it come from? We had it. Where? We had it with us. What kind of gun was it? It was a Taurus 9. What color? Uh, black and silver. Black and silver. Okay. So when you guys got in the car, who had it on them? Nobody. 
Who was it? Under the sea. How did it get under the sea? Put it under there. Who put it under there? Gabriel. Okay. Which sea did he put it under? In front of where he was sitting. Why did he put it under the sea? He didn't know how to have it on him. When did he take it and point it at Mama? He pointed at him in the car. No. So, so tell me what happened. Well, we was fighting. Well, okay, but I want to go back. So you guys take the gun and put it in the car. He does. Willie does. Yes. Okay. But again, how were you going to get him to give you stuff, the stuff back, Lamar? What was the plan on that? I mean, I was asking. You were asking. Well, you were yelling. Let's be real. You were no, yelling. I wasn't yelling. There was a couple of people in that car. They said you were yelling. Well, yeah, we, yeah, we was arguing, but okay. not when I asked him. Okay. So you're asking him, but you're basically accusing him is what you're doing. Yeah, I'm, I'm asking him. I'm like, man, we know you did it. Like, okay. And he's still saying no. Okay. Like, so then what happened? That's when it just kept going on. He's saying like, man, I swear to God, this and that, blah, blah, blah. He's saying maybe it was uh, maintenance and trying to say other stuff. And you didn't want to hear that? I mean, I, I know for a fact it was him. Okay. So... You, I, I'm curious, you said before the plan was to kill him. Why? Who wanted to kill him? Who? I mean, it wasn't, like, Willie, when, when it happened, mm -hmm. Willie was telling me, like, he didn't want to do it, like, but he had to. Why? Because they started fighting. So that wasn't the plan? For them to fight. That 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 came up when we were in the car. Okay. Like he was saying he'll be harassed. So okay. we got rowdy and like but then he pulled over. Okay. But see I I just where I get lost. You said you you had you and him had a plan and the plan was to get your stuff back. Right? That right? was my plan. Okay. Alright, so and this is where I get a little lost, okay? Again, you can talk to him on the phone all you want. Yeah. There's a reason why he came back. You had to get in that car with him. There's a reason why. Was it a plan to get the car from him? That's the plan? No. You guys came up with that plan sometime. I mean, the reason, the reason we got him to come back was so we could find out if he... I mean, we could find out what he's saying. Well, you found that out on the phone. So you have to step it up a notch now, don't you? No, I found out when he came. Like, he was saying it was maintenance and something. Right, right. But what I'm saying is, you can talk about that on the phone. Yeah. But he's lying to you he, on the phone. No, he called on the phone. He was calling me, but he wasn't saying anything. So you're mad at that point, because he's not answering you? No, I wasn't mad. Okay. I mean, I knew... But the whole reason to bring him back over there so you can question him about this stuff. Yeah. Right. Because he was acting lost. Right, 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 right. And what I'm saying is, you guys had a gun. Yeah. So the gun was used at some point in time to get him to tell you the truth, because that's what that's what makes sense, and that's what that's what the plan was. You had to have him there. You had to have him there in in front of you so you could do that, right? Yeah, but that I mean, he wronged you. That didn't happen though. That was the plan, though. Yes or no? Not with the gun. With what then? I mean, we were just questioning him. The gun fine. was just there while they was fighting, like. It's either Lamar gonna get the gun or Willie gonna get the gun. It's it's him or him at this point. See, this is where I kind of get lost, right? Right? I mean, yeah. I mean, if he's pissed off at you and everything, why not just drop you back off at the hotel? I mean, you're literally a quarter mile down the road from the hotel. Yeah. So he pulls over right then and there and gets out of the car. Yeah. Which makes more sense to me is that the gun was, the it's guns pulled on him in the car. The guns pulled on him in the car. Come on, let's 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 not you let's not leave it out on. You said it's pulled. In, in the like, car. In the Adam? Yeah. No, it wasn't out. The gun wasn't out in the car. At some point in time, it was. It wasn't. Was it in your hands? No. So why does he pull over a quarter mile short of the hotel when you guys have this plan in, in store to get this stuff back? Yeah. Did you want to we, check the trunk? Did you want to check his car? I mean, what was the plan? No, we we had put our stuff in there actually, mm -hmm. like our bags and stuff in his trunk. Mm -hmm. We were actually like about to leave, like just let it leave it alone. But the argument. 
The plan was to get him out of the car so you guys can get in the car and take it. That was the plan, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Yes. Who said that? I don't know. You tell me. That that wasn't my plan. I mean, if you, you knew that was going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. How did you know? Because after the gunshots, like. I knew before it. the gunshots. Okay. Let's go back before. What did Willie do to let you know that he was going to do that? Willie let me know at the moment. How'd he do it? He, he said, get in the car. No, no, no. Back up. Come on. This is where we got to do this. What do you want to know? What you do? tell me, what did Willie do to let you know that he was going to do that, to get that car? There was a plan. Remember? I told you we talked to people. There was a plan. At the hotel. Yeah. Tell me. He was... I mean, we we went in there. The stuff was everywhere. We picking it up, putting it up. And you're you're getting mad and you're planning as you're talking. Or tell me. Me, I'm I'm not, I wasn't mad. Like I'm, I'm the type of person. Like it's hard for me to get mad, especially about something like that. So who got mad? Really? What did he do? He was mad. Like hot, dirty hot. Yeah. Then what? So he's mad. So the plans, plans being formulated, plans being figured out. Yeah. And you know the guns in the room. Yes. And I want to make sure we're on the same page. That same gun that was in the room is the same gun that shot Lamar. You shaking your head? Yes. Yes. Okay. So this this stuff about it being Lamar's gun is a lie. If somebody told us that. You said what? If somebody told us it's Lamar's gun, that's a lie. It's Willie's gun. Yeah. Okay. I need to understand. You said the plan was to kill him. I need to understand that. Because that's... That you, you can't just say that and leave it out there. i got to understand that. So you're saying you're not mad. Maybe it's not you. So if it's not your idea to kill him, then I need to know what Willie was planning to do. You knew, you knew something. You, you don't just say that. You don't just say that, you know, that's not something that's just kind of like, oh, I just, maybe he was, I don't know. Yeah. This was discussed between you and him prior to. Yeah, it was a plan. Then tell me about it. What was your part in that plan? My part wasn't really much, but I just tried to help Willie. Okay, tell me. Fight. Um, what was the plan? How was he going to... How was Willie going to, I don't know, get back respect? I mean, is that what the plan was? Was it to take back respect? Was it the right or wrong? What was it? We, we, we told them more, like, can we, if we can get it back, like, it won't be no. So you threatened him? Yeah. Not you, Willie? Yeah. Tell me how. He was on the phone with him, but Lamar wasn't talking. Okay, so he, Lamar was calling me in. So you had to step it up or not? He was calling us saying that he, like he on his way, sending us pictures. But you wanted him to come back so you can confront him? Because he's not answering you on the phone? Yeah. Okay. I, was, I was texting him trying to like, ask him. But he was hacking us. Okay. Tell me what's said about Killing Lamar. Understand my talking, but I do. I catch it. It was said, like if you play flake, and it's just gonna happen. That's what was said between the two of you. Or did he say that to Lamar? That was said to Lamar. And that's on the phone or in the car? That was on the phone. If you play flake, we see what's gonna happen. Basically, he blew you guys off and didn't come over and get you and that kind of thing. 
Yeah. Is that mean? right? I mean, explain to me what that means. I know you said I don't. I won't understand you. I want to make sure we're on the same page. What does that mean? Like flake. Mm -hmm. Like do something sneaky or something. Mm -hmm. Like flake. Like and he said you'll see what happens. Yeah. So, when you guys got in that car, was Lamar was Lamar leaving alive? You understand what I'm saying? Like the intention w w when you guys got in that car, was he gonna go home, or was he not going home? Well, well, he picked us up. I got that part. But what I'm saying is, this great big plan. Was he going home, or was he not going home? Was it dependent? He was. He was. If he did what? If he didn't get out of the car and try to fight Willie, he'd still be there. But wasn't that part of the plan for you guys? To get him out of the car to fight? No. It was his plan, Lamar's plan to fight. Yeah, but the whole thing is you had to get him out of the car somehow so you can get in the car and take well, the car. He got out of the car himself. Yeah, but am I right or wrong there? You had to pick a fight with him to get him out of the car to go fight, to, to right. fight, yeah. right? So you can get in the car. Yeah. So the whole point was to get the car. Let's, let's at least put that on the table. The whole point of this was to get the car. So you can hold on to the car until you can get the stuff back. Am I right? That that wasn't my plan. No, 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 no. But the the plan that Willie had, or some whoever between the two of you came up with this, the whole plan was to get that car. Yeah. Yes. And how are you going to get the car? How is he going to get the car? What was the plan on that? Let's talk about that. It wasn't it wasn't just shit luck that you wind up over there and he gets out of the car and you get in the car and you guys leave, right? Mm -hmm. It was a plan. Okay. You Lamar. talked about it in the hotel room? Lamar. Where did you talk about? Well, we got the car of Lamar saying, put the gun down and I'll give you the keys. So as soon as you got out of the car? Yeah. Okay, tell me about it. When he pulled over like that, what happened? He pulled over, came around. And they started. So, so inside the car? Willie has the firearm. Willie has the gun. Because if Lamar gets out saying, I'll just put put the gun down, I'll give you the keys, that's inside the car. Oh, that's out. Out? Yeah. So what makes Lamar get out of the car? Him wanting to fight Willie. Okay. And at some point in time, Willie points the gun at him. And he says what? He ain't say anything. Sometimes, oh, come on. You're doing good. Remember, we talked to a bunch of people. What does he say? What did I say? Nothing. Okay, where did the keys come up? Because you said, you said Lamar said, don't put the gun down, I'll give you the keys. Yeah. So how did Lamar know he wanted the keys? Did you say it? Yeah, I was saying throw him the keys. So you said it first? You think you're not in head yes? Yes. Why? Because I wanted to go in there. Couldn't you just walk down the street and get in another car or call a cab or Uber or whatever? I don't have no money. So you wanted that car? I wanted to leave. I didn't want, to, I didn't want his car. I really didn't want none of this to happen. But it did. Yeah. Did you do anything to try and stop it? No, it's a break up that, try to break up. Well, I ain't well, trying to, try to break it up, no. Yeah, I'll try to help Willie. Mm -hmm. The whole point was to get that car so you can get your stuff back. The whole part, the whole purpose of him coming back was so we could at least try. To get your stuff back. Yeah, try to like ask for it back or something. So the ride home was bullshit. That was just to get him to come back so you can try and get stuff back. Yeah. Yeah. Did you did you push Lamar down to the ground at all? Did you push him off of Willie? No. Okay, so those injuries you got was from the other guy that was he pulled you off basically. Yeah. He fell on me. And I think Lamar was on me too, because somebody somebody else was on me. Okay. I saw my elbows. I heard. 
Was Willie's life in danger when he shot? Let's be real. This is again. This is this is where I need to be honest. Was his life in danger when he shot him? When Willie pulled the trigger. I wasn't looking. Okay. Right before that. Before that, probably because they they both were on the ground mm -hmm. like fighting. I don't know where the gun is at though. At the point. Okay. So after the <coughs> after the shooting. Why did Willie shoot the second shot? I'm not sure. You're not sure? He, he could have been shooting at the other guy. Why? Let me ask you this. Let's again, let's put it all on the table. Why did he say he shot at the second guy when you were riding around in that car? I don't know if he shot at the second guy or shot at Lamar. Twice? There's yeah. two shots. So the first shot's Lamar. Yeah. And the second shot, where? I don't know. What did he say? He didn't talk about it. Okay. So you get in the car. You're driving? No. What are you doing? I'm sitting there. Where's the gun at now? The gun is on the floor. The Go car. Where? On the ground, like, by the gas and stuff. So on his side? Yeah. He's driving. Where were the keys? I don't know. Did you see Lamar give them to Willie? No. So he never gave them to him? Okay, so <coughs> you go and you drive. Well, Willie drives and you're in the car. Where'd you go? We went to the lake. You went straight to the lake? Where'd you go between there and the lake? Where'd you stop? The lake. To Willie's house. Okay, well, what roads did you take to get to the lake? I don't remember. Cause we 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 came that way, we went that way, got lost, then found the street and made our way back this way. Okay. So you got lost. Yeah. You lived in Orlando for how long? My whole life. Mm -hmm. Where do you stay at? I stay at Carter on Carter Street. Over in Paramore? I believe. I believe. Yeah. It's right there. You got lost? I didn't get lost. Well, I got, we got lost. Yeah. What were you looking for specifically? In the car? Mm mm. Where you were going? To Willie's house. Yeah, but well, how did you get lost going from there to Willie's house? Because it was a, a one way street. Okay. That we couldn't turn on. So that screwed you up? And Willie, Willie is not from here, so he do not know his way. The guy from Miami has lived here for about three or four years? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you get over to the lake. What'd you do? What'd you take out? The clothes that I put in there from the hotel. Where are they at now? They're at Willie House. Mm -hmm. And your phone's there too? I gave my phone to his sister. Who's his sister? Uh, Tracy. Tracy. Where'd you give her the phone at? At the police thing. Here? Um, the other one before here. Before they brought it here. Okay. Whose idea was it to go to Willie's mom? Willie. What did he say? He was telling her. Like, mm -mm. To you before he went and did that. He wasn't really saying much. He was asking me which way to go. Hmm? He was asking me which way to go to his house. So then you went back with him to his mom's house. Yeah, and she dropped this off. Where did you? So the clothes are out here. At, what did Willie take out of the car? His the clothes he took. Where's the gun? I don't know. Where do you think it is? I don't know if it's inside the car. Mm -hmm. Or Willie had it. So if it's not inside the car, where else would it be? Probably somewhere. Where? Where is it at? We need to, we need to find it because we don't want somebody else to get hurt with that gun. Okay, so if it's not in the car, that's fine. You should tell me where it's at. It's probably in the car or at Willie's house. Well, which one is it? Is one of them? Yeah, but tell me which one's the right one.
Jesus' house. For sure? Where? I'm not sure. I need to know it's there. Because, yeah. Because I had it? No, he had it. Okay. Where did he put it inside the house? I don't know. You don't know. Did he go in his room? Yeah, he went in his room and his mom's room. Okay. So where did he hide it? I don't know. He actually got to his, to his house before me. How much before you? Like, probably two minutes. Mm -hmm. So you got there together? Yeah. Yeah. He went in his room with him? Uh, no. I just... When he went inside, like, I heard screaming and stuff. Like, he was telling his mom what happened. And his mom took us. He didn't tell her the truth, though, did he? Hmm? He didn't tell her the truth, though, did he? Yeah. Whose idea was it to say it was self-defense? Whose idea was that? said it though. I'm asking you. If the truth is the truth, you shouldn't have to worry about who said what. Right? Yeah. So the truth is the truth. Was it your idea? To say it was self-defense? I didn't know that self-defense was said. Whose idea was it? <laughs> I didn't even think of that. <laughs> I'm telling you, I didn't think of that. Yeah. I never, like, been in trouble. Like, what did Willie say he was going to say? Let's, 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 let's agree you guys got on the same page and talk. Self-defense. Well, he said he was going to say that. Okay. So when you said you weren't looking, remember that before? Yeah. Was that just because you didn't want to, like, tell the truth on your friend? No. It's just easier to say you didn't see it. That's the easy way out, isn't I it? I didn't. I didn't see it. Mm -hmm. I was too busy fighting out of the guy. <laughs> Why don't you guys put the car in the water? I don't know the purpose of that. You don't know? No, I didn't push it. I didn't... Whose I idea was that? That was really idea. How'd the window get broken out? Were the windows broken out? Mm. No. Did you jump out and hit the gas, or did you push it? The gas was pushed. With what? The car got pushed down. Gas was pushed with what? Feet. Huh? Feet. So like, you pushed. You know a did car, you? It rose. Like, car rose. So did you push the gas and jump out? Mm -hmm. I wasn't in the driver's seat. Okay, so did you get out first? Yeah, I got out and got my stuff out. And then what? Like that. And you left him there? Yeah, that's what he said. He said, get my stuff and go. Like, leave. But you didn't leave him. You got to the house at the same time? Yeah. No, not the same time. He got there before you? Yeah. So you saw, how did, it, how did the vehicle get in the water? What was it? What did he do specifically? Hit the gas and pushed. And pushed it? Or just let it roll? Both. Did you help him push it into the water? No? No. So your prints won't be on the trunk? No. Even when you got your stuff out of the trunk? I don't think I touched the trunk when I got my stuff. No, I didn't. Let's talk about all, these, all this stuff that you guys got at the mall. How was it obtained? What do you mean by that? Was it a, what, you guys don't have any money. You've said that many times. You don't have any money. So how did you get all this stuff from the mall? All these clothes? From what the mall was it? From what? From what?
did you grab a bunch of clothes and run out the door? Okay, so how'd you do it? Out of someone's vehicle. We got it out of someone's vehicle. Okay, so you stole it. And where did that occur? The mall. And are we going to be truthful about which mall? Premium or Prime outlet. Was it Premium or Prime? Which street? I'm not sure. It's out by. It's around the corner from Fun Spot and by uh, Bass Pro. Okay, so you've lived here your whole life. Yeah. Is that premium or prime? I'm not sure. Okay, so it's by Fun Spot, International Drive, yeah. that area? Yeah. And what store were you in front of when you broke into somebody's car? I think that was Macy's. Yeah, I think Macy's. Is there a Macy's in that mall? Yeah. What kind of car did you break into? I didn't break into it, but it was a van. It was a van? Yeah. What color? White. What kind of van? Um, they, they, they call them Sprinter vans. Like a Mercedes Sprinter? Mm hmm. It was like a Ford. A Ford Sprinter? How'd you guys know there's going to be clothes in there? We didn't know until we checked. How'd you check? Look in the window. You looked in the window? Not me, we looked in the window. You're saying we? We looked in the window. Willie and Lamar. Willie and Lamar. So the three of you participated in vehicle burglaries. How many? One. One vehicle. Yeah, that one. And how'd you get into that vehicle? A Swiss Tech. Hmm? Swiss Tech. Swiss Tech? Yeah. What is that? It's like a, a glass opener. And a seat belt cutter. Oh, you like the little punch things. Did you punch a window? Mm -hmm. Tell me how you use the Swiss tech. How to use it? No, what how did, you, did do? you use it? I don't use it. Okay, how Willie. did how did you and Lamar and Willie use it? We all didn't use it, but how to use it? You just push, put force on it, and just push it. The window pops? The window The window shatters. The window shatters. Who pushed the window? Willie. Willie. And he shattered the window to the Sprinter white Ford vehicle. Correct? Which window? The back window. And then how did you get the door open? The door didn't, the door wasn't open. It was just a window. Okay, but d you can't crawl through broken glass to get in the vehicle, or did you? Is that how you hurt your hand? No. So how do you get in the vehicle? I didn't get inside. I, I'm really not, this is not, it's not a test, it's not difficult. How'd you get the van open? I told you the switch tape, the window was open. You busted the window, not okay? Not me, not me. Willie busted the window. Yeah. How do you get the stuff out? Grab the stuff out. So it was close enough to the back door? Yeah. Was it in bags? Yes? Shaking your head, yes, yes? Yes. Okay, what color were the bags you stole? White and brown. What stores were they from? Hollister. I mean, not Hollister, Hillfigure. Tommy Hillfigure? Yeah. Do you, do you recall seeing a Guess shirt? Guess, yeah. What color was the Guess shirt? Black and red. 
Black and red? Yeah. How many bags of clothes did you steal out of the vehicle? I'm not sure, but I could I could guess, but it was not a All right, guess. Number. I could see like six bags, seven. Six or seven bags of clothes in one vehicle? Yeah. How'd you guys know all that was in there? They got out and looked. They got out. How many vehicles did you look in before you found a vehicle that you wanted to break into? It was just that one. Okay, so out of the hundreds of cars there, you picked that one? Yeah, that's a Sprinter van. So you looked in the back window and you could see all this loot? All this stuff? It was like during the day, so like you could see. What time was it? I'm not sure, but it was the sun was out. Uh, so you did this during the day? Yeah. Was it dinner time or lunch time? I could say dinner, because it was like right before dark. Not right, right before dark, but. <coughs> five, six? <coughs> yeah, seven. Five, five, or seven, six. eight. Five, six. How many total cars got hit? One. Whose idea was the was the burglary? Lamar's. Lamar's idea to do the burglary? Yeah. So he drove you boys down there with the intention of doing burglaries. What were you specifically after? Clothes or you didn't care? Just bags. Bags? Of whatever? You can't see what's in the bag. Did you end up with any electronics? No. Like iPads, cell phones, mm -hmm. cameras? No. Well, yeah, 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 camera. What kind of camera? I'm not sure. That didn't come from a car, though, did it? No. Where did the camera come from? A car. Mm -hmm. A different car? No, a card? Is that what you said? Uh -huh. A car. Yeah. But it was a different car, wasn't it? What kind of car did the camera come from? I think a Toyota. Okay. So I'm going to go back to my last question I've asked you three times. How many cars did you guys break into? It was just done to The first time I just got off because like, both of them got hit at the same time. So. Both of them got hit at the same time? Yeah. So while they're doing the Sprinter, you're doing the Toyota? Mm -hmm. I'm sitting in the car. So somebody sits in a car, doesn't participate in any of this, gets all that mad about the fact that that the stuff is gone. Mad. Yeah, you were. We have testimony. It's a coupe. Cool. We can't get in and out of the coupe. <laughs> right? Am I missing something there? This whole interview, you've said the car, the shot went off, the gun appeared, the gun was there. It was all. It's stuff just happens. No one's responsible for any of it. This stuff just happens. You won't put a name or yourself in front of any of it. The shot goes off. The gun does this. You're you're blaming the gun. You're blaming the car. You're blaming. It's like I didn't tell you that what he said that he didn't mean to do it. He didn't want to do it. I didn't say that. The very first comment you made about the shot. The shot went off. The gun did it. How can you say he didn't mean to do it? You were talking about. You, you planned it. Talk about killing him, and then you said that he didn't mean to do it. Which one is it? I'm saying that's what Willie said. Well, yeah, but I mean, if you talk about it before and you bring a gun, what the hell's the point of that? You can't say you didn't mean to do it when you're planning to do it, because the guy stole I from mean, you. That's, that's what he said. I didn't say that. Okay. So if all of this stuff is stolen, why does it belong any more to you? And Willie than it does to Lamar. I mean, after, after what happened, like, I didn't really care if Lamar took what because it wasn't like mine. Then why'd you get in the car? To go. No, we already said to go home is bullshit, right? The ride home no, is bullshit. Was, so was, why'd you get in the car? To go. To go where? To Willie's house. What, what was going to? What Willie? You had? were you were you were going to go in the car to take the car? What Willie had planned? It wasn't planned. It happened right there. It happened right there because Lamar, when he turned around, he pulled over. If he didn't pull over, if he didn't stop at that red light or pull over, we would have made it to the way house. If we would have made it to the way house, 
whatever what he said was going to happen would happen. And he would have killed him in, in his front yard in his mama's house? I don't know. Mm-hmm. Okay. Time out. Time out. I'm thinking this guy whipped into that street and jumped out of that car because he had a gun to his head. No. He jumps out of that car because you guys are threatening to kill him and no. take his car. They, no, they, he got out because he was like wanted to fight him. Okay, so if, if that's the case, yeah. I will go with you there. But I'm telling you, you guys had a plan to get him. You were, you were egging him on to fight so he would get out and fight so you could take that car. If not there at the hotel. Did you guys tell him to pull over on Bentley? What, on what? The did street. You, did you tell him to pull over? Yeah, what he was saying, like, pull over, pull over. I said, pop the trunk, I'm just going to get my stuff. So Willie's telling him, pull over. Yeah. Cause Lamar, is the gun in his hand when he says, pull over? No. The gun is in his hand when he get out the car. Does... Lamar know that you boys have a gun when he is driving that vehicle? I'm not sure if he knew. Does Willie not tell him he's going to shoot him? Mm-hmm. Willie doesn't say, I'm going to shoot you. pointing at him, but he didn't shoot when he first put it up. Tell me about it. Tell us about it. Willie. They get out of the car about to fight. Mm-hmm. And Willie get out. They start swinging, boom, boom. I saw Willie go to the car, and I heard the gun caught back. And the mom was like, uh, bro, chill, chill. Like, that's how you gonna do me, like, like chill. Mm-hmm. Then what happened? Damn. I I guess Lamar tried to take the gun from him or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they started fighting after that. Mm-hmm. Then that's when. Mm-hmm. When they started fighting, I swung Lamar and I got slammed. Fine. The other guy, the okay. somebody Lamar's name. Lamar. Mm-hmm. The other guy in the front seat. You want me to continue? Mm-hmm. Well, after that, that's when the shot went off and I jumped in the car. Mm-hmm. And I looked something out. The shot doesn't go off. Mm-hmm. Try again. Well, even beyond that, you left something out. Remember what you told us you said? What'd you say? Once the gun came out, what did you say? Mm hmm. You talking about the keys? Mm-hmm. What'd you say? Yeah, I said give him the keys. Give who? Willie. You said toss? Give? No. What'd you I say? I said give. Give him the keys. Yeah. So what did he do? What did Lamar do when you said that? Lamar said, put the gun down, and I'll give, I'll give you the keys. He said that to Willie. So Lamar wasn't ever really trying to get that gun from Willie. He said he'd give him the keys and if he put the gun down. I think Lamar was trying to, I don't know, because when they started fighting, I know the gun was in somebody's possession. They started, f- wait a minute, try that again. When they started <laughs> fighting, you know what? The gun, the gun, the gun wasn't out until we got out the car. Mm-hmm. Whose possession was it in at that point in time? Was it yours? Uh-uh. It was Why would Willie. you say somebody's? It was in Willie's possession. How do you know? Because I... The gun was cocked back. He was pointing at him like... What was he saying when he pointed the gun at him? Lamar said... I don't think what he said now. He didn't say anything. Lamar, Lamar was saying something. Bro. What was Lamar saying? He was saying like, oh, you, this how it is. Like, he was saying like, this how it is. Mm-hmm. Like, this how you gonna do me. And what did he really say? Chill. Really, really wasn't talking like. Well, really, was it means he was saying something? What was he saying? What did he say? 
Willie wasn't talking. Willie wasn't talking at all. Like he was saying, he was chasing Lamar. Okay. Where? Around the car. How many times? Twice. Willie's chasing him with a gun in his hand around that car twice. Yeah. Is he trying to get the keys? Or does he already have them? He trying to get them. What's he saying? Willie. What is he saying? So the only person that asked for the keys was you. The only person that demanded the keys was you. Am I understanding that right? Yeah. Yeah. But I never touched him. Hmm. But while your partner's holding him at gunpoint, you're saying give him the keys. Yeah. I Which again was the plan from the beginning is to get the car. Yeah, the car and the other stuff that. Right. See, we talked about that before. Yeah. You said no. So is it yes or no? Wait, which one? It was the plan to get the car back, get the car so you can get your stuff back? My plan was to get the stuff back. What your plan was to get both. Okay. Did you guys not split up all the loot when you got back from breaking into the cars when you got back to the hotel? Did you not split everything up? Like like what loot? The the, the stuff you guys stuff. stole from the cars. No. Did did you go back to the hotel and divide it? You mm -hmm. get this, I get this, we get this? Mm -hmm. Okay, how much did Lamar get from all of this stuff that was stolen? Did he get any of it? Or did he come back and steal it from you boys? Nothing. He, he came back and stole it from us, but that was just a camera. It wasn't no clothes. So what do you mean? You said four shirts earlier. Yeah. It was some clothes missing, but he came for that camera. So the reason that the hotel door room was open and all the stuff was out spread out on the floor was yeah. because he was looking for the camera? Yeah. Is it an expensive camera? Yeah. Okay. So he wanted to get the camera to get cash for it, I'm yeah. assuming, or sell it. Yeah. So the only thing missing really from your hotel room was the camera? Yeah. Did you guys text him or Facebook him, instant message him? Or whatever, did you guys say anything uh, on on the phone about the camera? He, no. Was it all voice calls, or was there any texting or it instant was, messaging? It was both voice call and text. Okay, what did the text say? The text. I was telling him like, "That's money. Like, you playing with money? Who's gonna break that off?" Break it off, meaning you were gonna sell it. Yeah. So he basically stole cash out of your pocket. Yeah. And well, what was his answer to that? He wasn't responding on the phone, but he was calling saying he was coming back because Willie was like talking to him. Willie was telling me don't talk to him. Like, Willie didn't want to talk to him. Willie just wants to handle business. Yeah. So I can imagine the words you guys were using in that hotel room. And what you were going to well, do. Wasn't, he wasn't talking to me. He was on the phone with someone else. What do you mean? On the phone with someone that used to hang with Lamar. Who is? Willie's friend. Who is? Keeland. Keeland? Yeah. Keeland who? I, I don't know. I just know his name, Keeland. How do you spell that? I don't know. Is Keeland's number in your phone? I don't know. I don't know. What's he on Instagram as? I don't know. And why did he call Keeland? He was just, they, they've been talking, like, they always talk on the phone. What was he saying he was going to, going to do to Keeland's friend? He was telling Keeland, like, how Lamar tried him. Lamar, and, and did he tell Keeland what he was going to do? No. What did he tell Keeland he was going to do? You going to get in the car? He's gonna what? Get the car. Get the car? Yeah. Wasn't wouldn't he think Keelan would call Lamar and tell him that? Keelan don't mess with Lamar. Oh, this is a friend of Willie's. Yeah, they they all were friends, but Lamar Lamar fell out with Keelan like a long time ago. Like I think last year. Okay, they fell out? Yeah. So he's telling Keelan he tried me. Yeah. 
and I imagine you're dropping the N-word, or he's dropping the N-word, and he's going to tell him what he's going to do to this guy. Use the words that he used. What did he say? There's usually the F word and the N word. Yeah, he was saying both of them. But okay, I'm, so I'm you tell me, because we know how you guys talk. Okay? Yeah. We've heard it all. So you tell me, what is he saying to Keeland that he's going to do to Lamar using those words specifically? I, I heard him say he was going to take the car. I heard him say those two words. Like well, nigga and what? And this and that. But did he say F N? You tell me. I'm not sure about what he said. Does he tell him he's gonna kill him? No. What's the plan to take the car? See that we're getting somewhere. What is the exact plan to take the car? And this is in the hotel room he's talking to this Keelan dude about this. Okay, so what's the plan in the hotel room? To get the car and... How? Yes, sir. When you formulate a plan with your buddy, you gotta you gotta talk about it. So what was what did he want you to do, and what what did he tell you he was gonna do? He was telling me he gonna get the car. So the market like see how you feel and so. See what? How he feel. When the tables are turned. Yeah. You're going to take from me, I'm going to take from you. That's how the streets work. Then. Yeah, he said he's going to get in the car and we're going to hit it. Hmm? The car. I'm going to get the car and. And hit it. Meaning what? Like me. Okay, but there's a reason you didn't jack him in the parking lot of the Best Western. That that was going to happen, but... It's too close to home. Too many cameras. I mean, no, no. Lamar, when we came out, Lamar was saying that his he, he sent his brother to go... Uh, Drop somebody off, mm -hmm. but Lamar he he had his keys in his hand, saying that his car not here. That his brother wanted to go drop someone off, so we outside, we just walking, we going towards the front, from the back way of the hotel, and we see Lamar's car. He like, okay, my car is here. So he lied to you. Yeah, he was like asking us, do we do he, do we need to catch an Uber or something, like trying to have us avoid getting his in his car. Because he's not stupid. So how'd you guys how'd you guys finagle your way in the car? We told we saw the lights on actually. I told him like this car right here. He was like, okay. Yeah. How'd you end up getting in if he didn't want you in it? He did. He was uh, supposedly dropping us off to Willie House. So even though he's telling you to catch an Uber telling you that his brother took his car and he doesn't have his car, yeah. 
He willingly let you in his car. Yeah. Earlier, you said where you were sitting. Do you remember what you told us? I was sitting in the back, right, right behind the passenger. So you're sitting behind the guy you don't know. Yeah. Not Lamar. I don't know Lamar either. I just know him by name. We're not cool with him. Did both of you get in on the passenger side, or did both of you get in on the driver's side? The passenger. Okay. Yeah. Who got in first? Me. So wouldn't that put you behind the driver? I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was right there. I was right there. Where? Behind the driver. Behind the driver. Yeah. Okay. That makes more sense. And behind the passenger was who? Woody. Okay. So when you're in the back seat, communicating with Willie, and the vehicle's moving, the two of you are formulating a plan of how you're going to get that car. We already know that. We wasn't planning in the, in the car, not in the car. You've already planned it at the hotel. Yes, but not. Is there communication in the back seat of the vehicle of what's going to what's going to go down? No. Okay. Maybe not talking about it. Was there any kind of signals? Hand movements? Mm -hmm. But before we got in, Willie was telling me, like, sit, sit, get in first. Like. So there's a reason this is not going to happen at Best Western. So you, kn you know you need to turn down a dark street for this to occur. You're not going to do it in a well-lit parking lot. Yeah, but the, where, where it happened, that wasn't planned. Like Lamar, I told you, he, he sat at the red light. That wasn't, that was unexpected. He sat there, and that, that's what caused us to get rowdy with him. And he said, he'll sit there all night. And he just said, take us back to the hotel. He turned around. Then him and Willie got into an argument. So he willingly turned around to take you back to the hotel. That party agreed to do. Yeah. He was heading in the direction of the hotel, correct? Yeah. Okay, so if you get back to the hotel, now you're back in the well-lit parking lot. You can't jack no, him we, there. We didn't make it back. I know. How'd you get him to turn off? You just demanded he turn off? Willie did? You did? What? To turn around. Hmm? To turn around. How'd you get him to turn off the street? Oh, him and Willie was arguing, and he, he messed around and said, uh, like, I'll get out of the car and beat your ass right now and beat both of y'all lives. Who said that? Lamar. Okay. And so Willie accepted the challenge or what? What did Willie say? He was like, pull over, pull over. Pull over, pull over. Yeah. But pull over, pull over was not to fight. Pull over to pull over was to get Lamar and his buddy out of that car so you could take it. It, it was to fight, but I guess Willie wasn't with the fight. But it, it was a hoax. It was bullshit. Lamar is a big guy. But it was bullshit. You guys knew you wanted that car at the hotel. It was a way to get him out of the driver's seat. I then mean, you could pull the gun, it, demand the keys, and take the car. That If that didn't happen, it would have happened later. But since that happened, it happened right there. So you improvised. It was either yeah. going to happen. It was either going to happen then, or it was going to happen at Willie's house. So since he pulled over, you improvised. Okay, let's do it here. What was it? Let's make sure we're on the same page. What was going to happen either there at Willie's house? I guess the same thing. Don't guess. Tell us. I just know what he was saying. We're going to go back to my house. The plan, the plan was to get to Willie's house. Then whatever happens on the car, that happens. But what Willie said was going to happen, that was him take the car. Willie never mentioned, like, killing him. Like, that's why why did you say that before? I said, what? Well, him killing him? Mm -hmm. That wasn't like... He said, like, if he played flake, I mean, like, like get kind of defensive. Then you're gonna kill him. Played fake flake. 
And do they use the word killer or a different word? He used a different word. Well, what word did he use? Bag. Hmm? Bag them? Okay. Yes? I can't hear your head nod. You understand that our whole job is just to get the what? You know right answers. No. The truth. Do you understand that? Yeah. So I don't want what you think is the right answer, I want the truth. Do you understand all that? Yeah. Everything that you've told us is the truth? Yes. Or is it the right answers? It's the truth. The truth. So you didn't embellish anything, you didn't make anything up saying what you thought we wanted to hear. Am I understanding that right? Yes. Do we have the truth now? Yeah. Are we still at two vehicles or are there more? Hmm. How many more cars? It was two. It was a what color Toyota? I think red. Car or truck or what? Man, it was a car. Yeah. You know what kind of car? Uh -huh. Check different malls in the area. Around that same time, we're going to see you somewhere else. There's a video everywhere. Where else are we going to see you? What are the malls? We didn't go to all these things. What other places did you go? So. I went to Willie House. No, 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 I'm talking about like the car hop and all that kind of stuff. What other places besides malls did you go to? It was at that place yesterday. About the day before. The day before. Mm -hmm. How many different credit cards have you guys used? And let's again, your debit cards, credit cards, anything that's not yours to use. How many have you used? I don't know nothing about that. How much have you, how have you been with that does it, Willie? You seen Willie do it? Yeah. One. You saying I don't know. Willie just came, he just got back down here. From? His hometown. Okay. Which is? Miami. Hmm? Miami. So you guys have been breaking into cars for a while? Mm -mm. You said they only did two that day, so you've done it before. Yeah. Okay. So this man is dead tonight because he stole a camera from you and Willie that didn't belong to you and Willie. Is that accurate? Yes. You killed the guy over stolen property that didn't belong to you. Is that true? I didn't kill him. Well, you certainly participated. Yeah. You certainly conspired to jack him. And when he told you he was going to bag him, you certainly went along with it. He didn't tell me that. You just told well, us he, he just did. said he said it. I said he said that I was going to the phone to the other one. You heard it. Yeah. You knew. If he if 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 he flaked, he was gonna bag him. In other words, if he didn't admit to taking the camera and return it, he was gonna get his car taken and get killed. Over a camera, a camera that didn't belong to either one of you. Can you imagine you losing someone in your in your family over a camera that didn't belong to them? Yeah, I almost lost my mom over nothing. It really is over nothing, isn't it? Joke. 
How were you wearing that hoodie when you got in the car? Uh, I had my hoodie on. Well, I didn't have it on when I first uh, got in. When did you put it up and pull it tight over your face? When did you do that? When we started arguing with him and mine. Mm. You know what that indicates to me? Concealment? Yeah. Of your identity? Get ready to do something. Yeah. Every time somebody robs a store, they throw the hoodie up and pull yeah. the strings. Is that why you did it? Yeah, me and him, we were arguing. He was saying, you're going to beat my ass. So I put on my hoodie. But when I got out, him and Willie started fighting. Okay. Well, Willie got out before me. Lamar had no idea you boys had a gun, did he? I don't think so. No, most likely not. I mean, he, when Willie first whipped it out, he saw the gun, but Willie did not shoot the first time he pulled, he pulled it out. He was like chasing him around the car. Because he wanted the keys. Oh, God, Jaquan, you're 18 years old. We have young men your age and young women your age that go into the military and go overseas and risk their lives so you boys and Detective Ferrara and I can have the freedoms in this country that we have. They risk their lives in every other country around this world so we can have the freedoms that we enjoy in this country. Mm -hmm. And you boys threw that away tonight like it meant nothing. It meant nothing. People die for what you and I can do in this country. They die for us. So we can be free. And you boys threw that away tonight like it meant nothing. You break into people's cars and you take shit that doesn't belong to you and then you kill for it. That spits on those men and women who risk their lives for us. It spits in their face. You threw it away like it was nothing. Where's the gun come from? Let's be real though, let's put it all on the table. Where are they gonna come from? You guys doing all kinds of car burglaries. Where'd that gun come from? I'm not sure where it came from. Uh, but Willie had it. Me and Willie, we don't stay together or nothing. You stayed together for the last three days? Yeah. Did he have it the whole time? Mm, he, he got it yesterday. Where? From his, his house. From his house? Whose gun is it? Um, Who do you think it is? I don't know. His brother? Probably. What, between when and when did he get it at his house yesterday? Hmm? When did he get it at his house yesterday? Before we went back to the hotel. So you went there? But that was before, like, Lamar even popped up. His mom dropped us off. Yeah. But you had already realized that stuff was taken out of your room. No, that wasn't at that point. Yeah, it was. Yeah. When, when, he, when he first brought the gun, it wasn't at that point. When you went back to to Willie's house and his mom made you guys dinner. Mm hmm And then you went back to the hotel because she's the one who drove you to the hotel at that point in time. Yeah. That's when he got the gun. Am I understanding that right? No, it was before that. When? What's today, Thursday, right? Mm-hmm. Yesterday was Wednesday. I think it was Wednesday night when he brought it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We're on the same page. You said his mom brought you back to the hotel, right? Yeah. And then after that was when you guys got in the car with... You got back to the hotel, then you guys got in the car with who? We got in the car with Lamar. Okay. So when did he get the gun? The gun, you, today Thursday, right? Yeah. Yesterday was Wednesday. Mm -hmm. So, Tuesday night, that's when the gun got to the hotel. What? Tuesday night. What Tuesday night? 
when we got dropped off mm -hmm. from his mom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yesterday his mom came, picked us up, took mm -hmm. us over there. We stayed over there all day, just sitting over there. And she made something to eat and brought us back. So is that the reason why the gun had to go back to the house? Because it was borrowed? No. Why did the gun have to go back to the house? I'm not sure. Why is the gun not in the lake? That's not my, my weapon. It's in the house. You've handled it. Yeah, I touched it. When? Like, around the time, like, when we just sitting in the car, on this porch. So the car, like, in his yard, we were just sitting there. Was the gun in the house, or is it in one of the cars? It's in the house. Did you put it there? No, I don't. Stay with him, but I don't know where to keep it. some bad decisions. Okay. And again, just before we leave, I want to make sure if there's anything that you've made up, if there's anything that you added to, if there's anything that isn't true, isn't the truth, and we need to know now before we walk out the door. If this was the truth, then that's fine, but if it wasn't and there was something that you added to, didn't tell us, let's get it out now. Can you uh, tell me what I said? No. I'm telling you, if you lied about anything, if you made something up, you know what it was. Yeah. Is there anything that you made up? Because it's what you thought we wanted to hear. Not because to save your butt, but because what you thought we wanted to hear. Is there anything that you made up? Or is all what you told us the truth? It's the truth. Okay. Do you have anything else? Okay. Mm -hmm. Time is now approximately 10, 24 hours. That concludes this interview. It's true. How you hurt your hand? Yeah. You ended up on the pavement? Yeah. Is your elbow just sore? I, I didn't look at it. We got somebody we need to come and photograph those injuries, okay? It looks to be in one piece. Yep. Yeah. Very much.